Join me on a journey as we discover soda ash from the ground up. This Trona mine in the northwest of Ankara in Turkey is a significant new mining production facility by Kazan Soda. It applies the latest technology in solution mining. This has made its owner Jinnah, and indeed Turkey itself, the largest producer of natural soda ash in the world. It's a source of great national pride. So what makes this facility so cutting edge and what lessons can be learned by other sites like the one we visited in Wyoming? Well, the first thing you notice when you enter the site is the lack of activity happening above ground. And there is clearly quite a lot of activity happening out of sight. I'm off to meet Tanza Ergel, the general manager, to find out more. When we talk about solution mining, why is it so innovative? We have not using any uh, surface or underground mining techniques. Uh, we only inject hot water underground. We dissolve the ore body that we use for the processing of soda ash and sodium bicarbonate and become solution underground. That's why it's a little bit different from conventional mining techniques. So the plumes that we see, it's, that's not smoke? Yeah, it's not smoke, it's water vapor. Because we injected water and become the solution of trona, it carries out some excessive water to the surface. And what about the waste then? All the earth minerals or the excessive materials other than the trona ore settle down underground. That's why we have not carried out any excessive or unexpected materials to the surface. And so do you think that minimizes the impact on the environment? For sure, the environmental effect or impact is very limited. There is no mining activities, just some hundreds of kilometers of pipes and wellheads. It means that all the surrounding and the community villagers continue their daily life in the mine site together with our activities. That's why in the Kazan Soda we grow many bees just near our production facilities and in the mine site. And also you can see that there are lots of grape yards for winemaking or for some grape sugar production, which are just on top of our mining activities. Two drill holes typically take pipes around 850 feet below the ground. They're connected at surface level to a wellhead and securely sealed in a casing of double cement. Then a hot water-based solution is injected into the mine's cavern. This creates a reaction that draws out the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate from the rock to create a soda ash slurry. The soluble portion of this deposit is almost pure trona and can be easily recovered when it is flushed out and pumped to the surface in the form of brine. Any leftover insoluble materials settle in the bottom of the mine and remain underground. This environmentally friendly way of producing natural soda ash avoids the use of the additional chemicals required in the synthetic method and does not disrupt the topsoil. Once above ground, there is a four-step process to produce the end product. The brine is filtered to create a pure solution of sodium carbonate. This reduced brine is then taken through a crystallization process, producing pure sodium carbonate crystals. The crystals are then dewatered in filtering centrifuges and then dried inside a fluidized bed. And here is soda ash in its finished form, a white powder substance similar in texture to salt or sugar. This year, soda ash will be the 10th most widely used commodity in the world and distribution is key to its future. More than 350 of these trucks are making the journey to Port Derringer every day. Each of these trucks is carrying 30 tons of soda ash. They travel from Kazan and another plant called Eti Soda to the port. In the next two years, the site at Kazan will be linked to Port Derringer by rail, reducing the amount of road transport. This port connects to Europe, Southeast Asia, North and South America, the Arabian Gulf and the Far East. 2.7 million tonnes of natural soda ash were distributed from this port in 2019, making this a vital international hub in the supply chain. Here at Eti Soda, another one and a half million tonnes of soda ash and 200,000 tonnes of sodium bicarbonate are produced every year. Opened 10 years ago, it is strategically located in Ankara's Bay Pazari district. But what's life like for those that work here? And what are the opportunities? 
I love my job. <laughs> I'm a mine planning manager. I'm working here for five years. I'm responsible for the solution mining and we can control this production from this room. And do you get support from the company? Yeah, they support me in academic life. Last year I graduated from my master's degree and now I'm continuing to PhD. It's a very good environment for the young engineers. They can develop their career. We are generating our workers, management and engineering team by ourselves here. We search for some talented, uh, successful engineers because good quality universities are located here. And are you seeing more women in the field? For the recent years, there are lots of uh, women students in the chemical engineering. That's why if they are talented, good educated people and ambitious to work here, it's valuable for us. They visited in our university. They gave some information about the Kazan Soda. And after we graduated, we immediately started. This was a great opportunity for us. It's not just the staff that benefit, it's also the local community. I'm going to speak to customer relations supervisor, Miriam Keskus, to find out more. We support them uh, in a friendly way. Our factory is always open to them. They are able to visit us anytime, any hour they want. We have special events for them. We give a scholarship to the teenagers which are studying at the universities. After they finish their degree, we give them job opportunities also, which is a fantastic opportunity. Why do you think it's so important to support them? Etisoda is a very big company, so we've been producing here since 2009. It was our main responsibility, actually, uh, to introduce ourselves, that we are environmentally friendly. And our aim is to support them in all kinds of ways and make them happy and to be in good relationship with them. I travel to a neighboring village to find out how Etisoda impacts the local community. Can you tell me uh, what benefits you see? Çok şey kazandırıyor. Bizim her şeyim şimdi şu anda bağlarımız elektrik getirdik, et soda getirdi enerji olarak. Yani her çok şeylerimiz var et soda yer alanıyoruz yani. We've seen how this special ingredient we take for granted in modern life is produced, but what does the future hold for soda ash?